these guys. <laughs> That's right, Joe. Oh, good Thank you. morning. It's 7 a.m. on the East Coast. Um, yeah, uh, National Espresso Day. I'm really excited about it. The boys are competing, it. and then I guess I get to be the judge. We're going to have an espresso drinking contest. Who can do more shots of espresso? They are getting it all warmed up. The beans are ready to go out there. <laughs> uh, and by the way, send us your pictures this morning. If you're having your cup of joe this morning, send us your pictures this morning and uh, tag them FF Weekend on Twitter, Facebook, all over the place. There, and you can email them to friends at Fox News. That's the good news. And now for the latest update on the Obamacare debacle, the enrollment has been postponed by the Obama administration. Uh, the enrollment Enrollment period this year, 2013, has been extended a couple of weeks. And in next year, 2014, it's been extended a full month. This will come as a huge surprise to you. It's been extended until after the midterm election, the one that Democrats are worried about getting clobbered in because of Obamacare. Now, all right, let me put the cynical hat on here. I'm going to just say, wait a second. Okay, it makes sense, right? Because it's a month later. We had all the website problems you see there. Glitch Girl, the photo there on Glitch Girl on the yes. website. We had all the problems with the website. So it's already been pushed back a month. This is simply just another month delay next year. That's why. It's, yeah, it's a year that's from now. They're planning out a year from now putting it after the midterm election, this after a month of Democrats in the House and the Senate saying, Stop! You're killing us here. They are very upset with the White House because they're going to lose their jobs a lot. Yeah, they feel this. like the wheels are really starting to fall off of this. Well, if you ask Representative Louis Gohmert, congressman from Texas, he says, you know what? This is all hypocrisy. Take a listen. Just when you thought they couldn't get any more hypocritical, there could be no more lies than what have been said about Obamacare. Here, these guys forget there's video of them saying over and over, you can't do away with cloture. You can't change this. It's too important. It's been around too long. It's what gives us collegiality in the Senate. And now they're on record as destroying it. And, you know, it could be one of those things as, as infuriating as it is, just so they can replace somebody that should have been a, a replacement for John Roberts, for heaven's right. sake. So here, here are the extension delays. Let's take a look at this. Eight days extra now from December 15th. You get up until December 23rd to enroll uh, because the plan kicks in on January 1st. And then you have a one-month delay, as Tucker mentioned, until next November 15th in the opening enrollment of the insurance beginning in 2015. But by the way, Jay Carney at the podium the other day saying, look, this was because we wanted to help insurance companies sort things out of all this. Well, when you ask the insurance companies, and insurance company executives have now gone on the record about this now, month extension they say wait a second our rates are set in april what does that mean for our rates do we need to move that timeline now to march or to may we don't know yet so it's not really helping they have them. no clue but, but the policy is being making up on made up on the fly what's not being made up on the fly what is absolutely the product of a lot of thought and forethought is the timing of this look they delayed the implementation of Obamacare itself until after the president's reelection campaign. A new poll shows that if voters had known that they would not have be able to keep their health care plans as the president promised, if they'd known Obama was lying when he said that, and he was, we now know, they wouldn't have voted for him. Mitt Romney would have won. Obama would have lost so many female voters that he would not have been reelected president. So these lies and this timing is purely political, and it was effective. Well, and they're, it's essentially going to keep voters in the dark before they head to the voting booth. So is that something that's that's really fair either? And then you, you think about this Obamacare fix that we've been talking about uh, for, for quite some time now, uh, and the idea that you'd be able to keep your plan and that you'd be able to keep your doctor. Well, there's an article in the Wall Street Journal out that basically says that these insurance companies are not going to be paying uh, some of the practices as much money because they're not going to be able to afford to. So then what's going to happen to these doctors? They may decide to, to drop from from these insurance plans. So the myth that you're going to be able to keep your doctor seems to be just that yeah. myth. Yeah, and Wisconsin's governor, uh, Wisconsin's governor Scott Walker had this to say about the latest on the keeping your plan plan. Listen. It's a problem all across the country. And the reason is, as usual, they didn't actually check. They, they ran out and made that announcement. Many of us wondered if they just came up with it that morning. Didn't check with the insurance commissioners in my state or across the country. And now companies, as well as the people charged with regulating them in the states, are scrambling trying to figure out. In most cases, it's not even possible. But that's, again, an indication that this was politically driven and not policy driven. That's a failure for the American people. Well, it sure is. And not only has the president's promise from several years ago you could keep your plan been shown to be false, but his, his other promise, you can keep your doctor, is under question now. Some health care companies are lowering reimbursement for physicians to such a low rate that many of them may quit uh, these health plans. In, in New York State, for example, doctors are now being given $20 
to read a mammogram. 20 bucks. And here's a bit of a flashback, because if you're not familiar with the president saying this along on the campaign trail, or even back in 2009, just after he was elected, uh, here's, a re here's a reminder of that. And then listening to Jay Carney yesterday at the podium, try to walk this back. Listen. If you've got health insurance, you like your doctor, you like your plan, you can keep your doctor, you can keep your plan. If Americans like their doctor, they will keep their doctor. And if you like your insurance plan, you will keep it. Doctors and insurers uh, make the decisions about who's in networks. Uh, that was true before the ACA, and it's true after the ACA, uh, because the ACA builds on the existing private insurance system. Uh, it's been the case for decades uh, that insurance companies make decisions about the doctors and provider networks, and under the health care law, that continues. Outrageous. I mean, right, but they're making these decisions because of the Affordable Care exactly. Act. Exactly. That's right. They make rational decisions based on market forces, and if they're hit with heavy new costs, and they are, they got to make up that money somewhere. And stiffing doctors is one of the easier ways to do it. By the way, how many American-born doctors will be practicing in the United States 25 years from now? Yeah, not, not many. many. Especially when they know that those those rates, the rates that they're being paid out on things like the mammogram, plummeting. 20 bucks? How about, would you, would, you, would you be happy if your wife's mammogram was read by a physician making $20 no, to do it? No, you no. wouldn't. Let us know how you feel about this. Friends at foxnews.com. We'll have much more on this with some experts coming up a little bit later in the show. But first, some headlines.